Wait. Yeah, you're like, and Chet, but Chet did the damn thing too, you know, like. Yeah, so you, so you saw a little statement uh, Filipino Chet made on uh, his Twitter. He said yeah. there are five gods of Marvel. I mean, there was never that many in Marvel, too. There were three. There was three. Well, four County Schmidt towards the end. Yeah. Well, we, he, yeah. He got his four. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he said it's pretty much it's him, Chris, me, Justin, and G.R. Bauer, which is a very solid lead indeed. But, I mean, like I said, man, it's too early to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's really early. I mean, right now, that's definitely a thing. But uh, the way that this game is going to go in the long run, you got a lot of guys that are really, like, clawing at these top spots. You guys yeah. have definitely set the stage, though. It's up to these guys from 2013, guys like uh, like like D1 and even and, and, uh, and stuff yeah. like that. And I mean, yeah, not sure, sure. And, and I mean, even Marlon, you know, Marlon's step up to the plate. You know, he's he's gotten his wins, I think, here and there, but he's got a lot more potential. Yeah, of course, yeah, most definitely. Tell him, I just need to make better decisions. But anyway, this is actually something I want to see: Wesker versus Morgan. Because I, I might this this might be my future right here. Yeah, you know I don't mean? know. The possibility. This is not a good looking future for you. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, no, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, but I, I'm up for the challenge. I'm always up for the challenge. The thing so. that I at least think that Wesker has going for him is that Morgan will start with one meter, try to get her to use it, and then maybe you can make something happen in, in the gap between in the space between where she won't have this astral vision going. Yeah. Now she's gonna run out of meter here, and he'll have a good six seconds to try to get lucky. Yeah, true. Oh, oh all right, all right. Nice. The missile, or sorry, the beam pushed him, and it made it hard to see which way he was going to end up after the teleport. Good stuff from D1. Oh, wow. Really nice. Oh, wow, nice. Oh, man, oh, man. Melon Chop X Factor. That is. My joint. I gotta give it to D1. He's staying resilient. These mix-ups that he's putting on are tough to see. Chris G is just seeing them anyway. Oh man! And that's Chris with a straight stab to the chest. Yeah. I like what D1 went Chris. for, man. Yeah, no, that was a good mix-up. I actually like that a lot. Oh God! Fire balls. Missiles and fireballs, and what does Wesker do against all this? Oh man, what a great DHC. Yeah. yeah. And she just comes out like, I know I didn't give you that much damage, so here's some meter instead. Yeah, you finished the job, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you need a woman like that in the back. I'm gonna try to save his meter, try to be more conservative. Must feel like Wesker's not the threat, you know what I mean? Gotta push block them. That's one thing about Virgil makes it, man. When they do that hard, round harvest, you push block the round harvest the last second, the last second possible. To push him out. Yeah, to push him out, yeah. So you can actually have time to see the mix-up, right? right? If you do it early, you won't get the push on him. He'll still keep coming. True. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this might be a dead Virgil. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Is that a dead uh, Virgil? Yes, it is. Change the channel, please. Because Vir let's Try to be slick with it. Yeah, and that was the perfect push block that he needed. Gave him all that space. Air grab. He wanted it with that X Factor, and he dropped it. If he fails to finish here, D1 might be able to make that comeback. Teleports across. No, too much stuff on the screen for D1. He still got that X Factor. No meters though. Too many fireballs. That's too much, man. Forced to spend it. There's not more. There's not much I can say right now, man. There's not much more I can say, man. It, 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 it is, it is, the temple of projectiles. He's at least getting some meters. Throw the swords up and go nuts. Yeah, he gotta go nuts, man. Sword up. And he is patiently waiting. Yeah, not even getting a chance. Chance might be coming. Put the beam out. He wanted some room to work with, but he didn't get it. And now nah, again. Yeah, man. This is. Uh, oh. oh, do never, never rotate. Never. Never rotate. You never rotate. Oh, my God. He called Doom out. He wanted that beam to just give him some space to even put the belt up and didn't even get that much of it. Chris G. Such control from a full screen away. Who isn't Chris G's pool anyway? Bunch of people that are gonna die to Morgan, I think. Damn! And it's just like that. Yeah, man. It's. So he goes to Wolverine, and he's like, "All right, well, let's take thinking out of the equation. 
Maybe, maybe I can just get lucky. Maybe. Okay! But the missiles? Oh! And he can kill her! The question is how much does he want to use? He'll just drop the combo instead. That's terrible. Oh, and the ground bounce! It's time to end her life. No. Oh, a big mess up there. And he had a big opportunity. Wait a minute. He'll still get the chip. Oh my god, Doom! Doom in the back there! Doom is in intensive care. He's in the ICU! And Morgan, okay. she can't do anything. Chris has got to think of something. He's got to just DAC. That's all he could do. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Looks for the delay. Looking for the setup. But Doom comes out, gets swalloped, and he drops the combo. Chris is getting nothing out of this. Yeah, he is being patient right now. Yeah. Seat one, man. Proud of him, man. I've seen him come a long way. I remember when he was he was complete doo-doo. Look at him now. Oh, and he Put wanted the double. Work. And I, you know what I mean? And he blocked it, D1. With a switch to Wolverine, trying to answer back oh, here. That was a big punish right there. D1 actually known as a uh, Smash Brothers player in this yeah. community. Yeah, I mean, this is a great place for him. You know, uh, last year we saw Alucard up on the big screen in the top eight, and the, the Smash crowd gave him all that kind of love. D1 could be the one this year. He has to get through Chris G though. 2013, man. We're gonna see a lot of uppercomers coming. Oh yeah, B's one of them too. Mm, oh my god, that yeah, guy's B's. really good. Yeah, yeah, B's one of them too. That guy's really good. Oh, nice and easy. There. Here I am. God damn, you know what, man? It's that character gets stale, man, after a while, dude. Just seeing the like sword loop and uh yeah. It's, it's really it's so linear, you know. It's just Gucci. You're mine. Yeah. Gucci. I'm just stuck by D1, man. Good try. Yeah, I mean, he took it to Chris as best as he could, but Chris just had way too much for him. He's so much more experienced than all. He, he was ready for every situation. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Most definitely. God damn, I'm hot. It's warm in this place. I, I got to, like, roll my sleeves up. Yeah, that's crazy. You got dreads, too, bro. Yeah, right. Like I look at this on camera, it doesn't even look like hair. It just looks like a like a scarf or something. <laughs> I'm like wearing around my